on December 29, 2010. Marquette fell to Vanderbilt in Nashville 77-76 on a last-second layup by the Commodores. Fast forward exactly one year to Thursday night where no last-second layup was needed. Marquette came out sluggish, went down by 22 points at halftime, and never truly recovered, falling for the first time at home this season 74-57. We were too reliant on making shots um, in hopes that that would increase our energy and our emotion and it uh, doesn't work that way. Marquette struggled on both the offensive and defensive sides of the ball, shooting just 32% from the floor and allowing Vanderbilt to shoot almost 47% and convert 10 three-pointers. The Commodores also out-rebounded Marquette showing what kind of problems Vanderbilt's length caused for the Golden Eagles. I take a lot of vitamins because uh, I'm not in great health all the time, but I haven't seen any vitamins for length. We have to do what we do, and when we do, we're good. Uh, maybe as good as we've been in our four years here, uh, but when we don't do what we do, we're not any good. Marquette did outscore Vanderbilt in the second half, and while he wasn't pleased with his team's performance, Coach Williams did acknowledge his team's effort in the final 20 minutes and its importance moving forward. We can handle this like champs or we can handle it like chumps. And we can grow together or we can splinter apart. And I thought some of our guys' uh, emotion and purpose uh, was really good in the second half. Although this is not how Buzz Williams and company wanted to close out 2011, Big East play waits on the horizon for Marquette, starting New Year's Day against Villanova. Reporting from the Bradley Center, Mark Freund, MUTV Sports.